also talked here today about the rising hate and anti-Semitism that we have seen all over the world. This is such a very important subject today. You know, a few months ago I had the pleasure of touring Auschwitz, the Nazi concentration camp, where 1.1 million men, women and children lost their lives. Think about that. Almost all of them were ruthlessly murdered simply because they were Jewish. When you walk through a place like Auschwitz, you feel a tremendous weight. They remind us everywhere of the horrors that happened there. I get it. It's easier to find a scapegoat to find scapegoats for problems than it is to try to make things better ourselves. It's easier. But let me be clear: you will not find success on that road. You will not find fulfillment or happiness. Hate burns fast and bright, and they make you feel empowered for a while, but it eventually consumes whatever best it fuels. It breaks you. It's the path of the weak. That's why there has never ever been a successful movement based on hate. Never. Look at the history. The Nazis, losers. The Confederacy, losers. The apartheid movement, losers. And the list goes on and on and on. No, I don't want you to be a loser. I don't want you to be weak. I've spent most of my life helping people find their strength. Despite all the things that we may disagree about, and all my friends who may say right now, Aro, don't talk to those people. It's not worth it. I disagree. I care about you. I think you're worth it. It was really interesting hearing a public figure and somebody who's really prevalent in the media and not necessarily known for um, genocide prevention work, shifting his focus and um, emphasizing that and spreading those beliefs and values to a greater community. Well, I thought it was actually really awesome, like just to have him like in the same room, just talking about like his life experiences from the gym, and like even his home life in Austria. I thought it was really cool to be able to like sit here and talk about like how his motivation as a child like really pushed him to be the governor, philanthropist, and just even helping like with the Holocaust events in Auschwitz. I thought that was like really inspirational, like just to have a man like that being in the same room as you.